Here's a look at Longview with our Skyview camera brought to you by the Monster Law Firm. We are off to a quiet uh, evening for us, but we are seeing the flags blowing in the wind there. Wind of 7 miles per hour. The temperature right now in Longview is sitting at 50 degrees. We do have a risk of strong to severe thunderstorms for Tuesday as we head into the afternoon in the yellow area. That's a slight risk. That's a level 2 out of 5, which means a few strong to severe thunderstorms are possible. And then we have the marginal risk in the green, which means an isolated strong to severe thunderstorm is possible. Basically, all this means is that there's a greater threat of severe weather into the Toledo Bend area. However, uh, even if you do get a severe thunderstorm in the marginal risk, it can still be just as intense as as the storms closer to Toledo Bend. So uh, still make sure you're weather aware. Jacksonville, Tyler, Gilmer, up to Linden, Marshall, Henderson, Nacogdoches, down to Lufkin, Center, San Augustine, and Hemphill. The greatest threat, though, stays off to our east. Let's take a look at what Futurecast has for us. Clouds increase through the rest of tonight. Temperatures will actually start to warm up with the warm front having moved on through. Winds out of the south will help usher in that moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. We will see some showers developing through 6 a.m. Maybe a rumble of thunder in this activity, but the morning stuff is not going to be severe. Uh, could have small hail if they get strong enough, but uh, severe weather is not expected Tuesday morning. Heading into Tuesday afternoon, though, we will have to watch deep east Texas in particular, especially the closer you get to the Louisiana state line. You can see individual cells trying to develop in portions of our area. Now, the best upper level support, though, will be off to our north, and that's where the storms will be a little bit more intense through the I-20 corridor into Louisiana. But still, we'll have to watch these storms very close because they could get strong enough to produce a tornado before they cross into Louisiana. Now, that probably would be an exception uh, to the norm for tomorrow, but it's definitely something we still need to keep an eye out for regardless. It's more than likely the case that storms are going to develop here in East Texas. Uh, be fairly strong, but actually become severe once they get into Louisiana. But we'll need to watch any cell closely because it could spin up a tornado at any given time. Taking a look at what Futurecast has through Wednesday morning, the cold front itself starts to move on through, and that's when we see that big cool down especially into Wednesday. Wednesday morning, we're in the mid 30s to low 40s to start your day, and then we are going to drop uh, or top out in the 50s heading into your Wednesday afternoon. In terms of rainfall totals for the month of November, of course, the month is wrapping up here. We only have a couple of days left. We have a rainfall surplus in Tyler, but still a deficit for Longview and Lufkin. But overall, it's been a good month for rainfall compared to where we have been seeing as of late. So we'll definitely take the winds as we get them. Your seven day forecast looks like this. We are going to see those temperatures drop into the day on Wednesday behind the cold front. We'll see more rain chances heading into the weekend. And then for DB Texas, it will be more of the same. For your latest weather forecast, go to our website. That is Fox51.com.